We're back on this Boos Day Tuesday with Sarah Breaks Out of the City, and today she takes us up north to Maine. To the tiny picturesque town of a gunquit, so to be pretty. exact, where she tries her hand at what's something called buggin'. But to people like us, it's better known as lobstering, and in Maine, it's the way life should be. With almost 105 million pounds of lobsters caught in its waters last year, the state of Maine is the main source of the crave-worthy crustacean in the U.S. Maine is such a huge state with so much coastline. It's very, very rocky. The water is generally very cold. <laughs> Pollution is pretty much non-existent. It's the perfect habitat in the whole world for lobster. Grant Hubbard operates Finest Kind Scenic Cruises in Agunquit, giving tourists a first-hand view of the art of lobstering. Is it a verb? Do you say I'm going lobstering or I'm fishing yeah. for lobster? We're going lobster fishing, we're going lobstering, we're going bugging, some people say. We call them bugs here. Buggin'. Yeah, they look like bugs. These bugs are my favorite delicacy, but I've never eaten something I've caught myself. Yes. So Grant is putting me to work on his brother Todd's lobstering boat, the Lizzie. These color-coordinated buoys represent each lobsterman's turf and potentially mark buried treasures. Each trap pulled could nice. bring an uninvited guest. Oh, there's a fish! Oh, there's a fish. Oh, oh, oh. Or a bounty of lobsters. That was too short. Lobstermen measure each catch. The body shell length can only be between three and a quarter to five inches, or else it must be thrown back to increase chances of reproduction. So I'm going from the eye socket with the front <coughs> to the back, which it looks like it's too small. Lobsters with visible eggs get a V-shaped mark and are also tossed back in the water. For sustainability, this is just as important as reeling one in. By releasing all these beautiful egg-bearing female lobsters that are guaranteeing the future of the industry, they really are seeds that will grow in seven years, become something that we can catch and, and sell. The keepers get their claws bound so that nobody gets hurt in the process. Each trap gets refilled with herring and codfish, a smelly bait which attracts hungry lobsters. On an average day, how many lobster do you bring back? I know it varies, but like, what's a, what's a pretty good day? We can't tell you. You can't? No, it's not allowed. <laughs> Look at him smiling. Wait, why not? <laughs> it's a secret. Wait, is that like a normal thing you can't ask a lobsterman? It's like asking him about his love life. <laughs> is that personal? <laughs> Do you want to talk about how much we weigh? <laughs> Last year, Maine lobstermen earned more than a combined $330 million from their long hours on the water. But after only a few hours, I was ready to break for lunch. I hit up the Perkins Cove Lobster Shack so the owner, Jason Evans, could give me a quick lesson before lunch. How many different ways can you prepare lobster? Well, the traditional way is a boiled lobster. Then there's lazy man lobster, lobster rolls, lobster wraps, double rolls, lobster BLTs, sautéed lobster, grilled lobster, lobster pie, lobster mac and cheese. That's about it. We went with boiled lobsters, preparing a feast worthy of friends. Cheers. Cheers. I love that. Did I mention how much I love eating lobster? I guess I'm the only one still going here. Uh, oh, uh, we are rarely jealous, but we are today. Ooh, that so looked, nice. Great. Mm -hmm. Well, the coolest part is they don't actually give the license to major corporations. It's all individuals, mm -hmm. and that's, that's how they keep the economy booming. And they yeah. keep it in the family business, generation totally. after generation. That's Ooh, awesome. Great job, Which also Thank keeps you. that beautiful uh, ambiance you have uh -huh. when you go up uh, so Maine, pristine. Lo along the coast there. So that's great. Good work. Good all right, care. from fishing to fashion, Bobby Thomas we is here. Her. Oh, my gosh, with Britney's with mom. Britney's mom, and she's getting ready to show you. <laughs> all the fine fashions that are totally made in America, which should be uh -huh. right after this.